it's cold. I wish I had a poncho. What the hell? Somebody there? Hey, 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 what's happening? Not again. Yeah, man, what's your problem? Calm what down, I'm time? trying to help. Hey, I'm just trying to help. Chill, chill, no, tell relax, him, tell bro. Alright, alright. I want to teach you how to make a poncho. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna go to Hey, come on, come on. You again. always do this. You always I don't want to make a poncho. Learn. I just got a learn. Poncho. People want to learn how to make a poncho. Just, just Maybe teach. people do want to learn how to make a poncho. Maybe yeah, they do. They but do. I don't. Well, you should. You should. Because people need to know okay, yourself okay, things. Okay, 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 and it's okay, cold, okay, man. Okay, it's okay, winter time. Don't right. be selfish. We'll, we'll learn how to make a poncho. Hey, boy. God. Stand this guy. All right, all right. First, it'll be some scissors, some thread, some ballpoint pins, and at least two yards of fabric. If you're a lot taller, you can get at least three. So I like to start at the beginning of my fabric and use a fabric marker to mark out the necessary measurements. So our first step, or second step in this case, since we got all our materials, is gonna be to mark out our fabric at 52 inches, so that's 18 times three. Mark it out three times at 18 inches, and we'll make our first cut. Knowing I'm gonna use this whole piece, I'm just gonna go ahead and fold my material in half and cut all the way across. That way I have a shorter length of cut. With the remainder of the fabric, we're going to cut out a 26 and a half length by 20 inch width for our cowl neck. This is going to keep us warm. It's like a hood or it's like a turtleneck. Either way, same concept, depending on how you want to wear it. Our next step is going to be to cut out our neckline. In order to do so, we're going to fold our fabric in half once. Even it out and fold it in half one more time in order to create a smaller square and or rectangle. After doing so, we're going to measure out 4 inches and put a pin on the longest side and then 2 inches on the smallest side and put a pin. We're going to cut out a J shape from pin to pin for our neckline. After doing so, we're going to go ahead and flip our fabric inside out to the incorrect side which is a lot more faded and or less vibrant in color than the right side. Next, we're gonna take the shorter ends of our cow neck piece and fold them together so that the incorrect side of the fabric is facing towards us. Pin together the open side of the fabric so that the fabric doesn't move while we're stitching. If you don't have a machine, you can always hand thread. Stitch in a straight line going all the way down the open side of the cowl neck. Remember to give yourself a half inch seam allowance. Center and press open the seam allowance using your hand. Reverse the cowl neck to its correct side and place it on the inside of the poncho aligning it with the neck. Both of the right sides of the fabric should be touching each other. Use pins to align the neck so that it stays in place. For the neckline, we will use a zigzag stitch and give ourselves a half inch seam allowance all the way around. After stitching on the neck, the project is finished. Flip your poncho inside out and go ahead and throw it on. I like to be extra, so I'm going to go ahead and add a pocket and heat press my own designs onto it. Swag, now let's see what it looks like. Oh. 
okay, okay. Hey, not too bad, not too bad. All of a sudden. Don't even start. No, no, no. you act like you, you didn't want to freaking make a poncho. Man. Now, like, now you're happy. You bug. No, now you're like, happy. I swear. Now you're happy. What? Say thank you. <laughs> Say thank you. Come, come Say on, thank come you. On, no, no, come no, on. The, the poncho's no. done. The poncho's done. We did all right. it, all right? We did Whatever. It. Okay? Whatever. Chill. Chill. Whatever. Anyways. All right, guys. That's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was informative enough for you to go ahead and make your own poncho. You know what I mean? It's, it's just fun to do. Something to do for us, like, in this winter time, especially. You want to stay cool. You want to stay, you want to stay warm. I'm sorry. You want to stay warm. You want to stay cozy. You want to, you know... And then you want to rock your own cool ass gear, you know what I mean? Who else do you know who has a Mickey Mouse poncho? Nobody. Just me at this point. That I know of. And I'm cool with that, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's just to give you guys an idea of what you can do. Super simple, super quick, you know what I mean? It'd probably take you at max, like, 35, 40 minutes to an hour. Who knows? If you're hand sewing, it could take a little longer. It, it shouldn't even take that long, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, once you get the gist of it, once you get the whole concept, it's super easy, super simple. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too weird or anything like that. I hope it was kind of funny. Hit the likes, hit the comments, smash that subscribe button. Uh, let me know what you guys might want to see in the future. If you guys want to uh, always want to learn how to make something, let me know what it might want to be. But yeah, let me know what it is, and we'll, we'll give it a go together. You know, peace.